Welcome to the demonstration on installing a motherboard. To begin the installation, we first identify the mounting holes on the motherboard. Then, we locate the mounting screw holes at the base of the system. We line these mounting holes on the motherboard with the mounting screw holes. Sometimes, one may need to move the motherboard slightly to make the screw holes fit. Then, we secure the motherboard to the base with the help of the screws that come with the motherboard. The motherboard is now installed to the base of the system unit. Now we connect the processor to the motherboard. This is the processor. To connect the processor, we place the processor on the processor socket and secure it with its clip. Next, we place the cooler unit on the processor. The cooler unit is attached with this cable to the power slot. In some motherboards, instead of a processor socket, there's a processor slot into which we slide the processor to fix it. Next, we will connect the motherboard to the PSU. This is the power connector from the PSU, which is connected to the motherboard. Note that its plug is much larger as compared to the plugs of the other cables of the PSU. We sort out the motherboard power connector from the tangle of power cables coming from the power supply. Then, we plug its socket on the motherboard. Note that the connector can only plug into the socket one way. We will next connect the wiring to the motherboard. This is the speaker plug and these are the plugs for the hard disk LED, reset switch, and power switch. The plugs are connected to these case pin connectors on the motherboard. Now, all the required connections are made to the motherboard that we just installed. This brings us to the end of the demonstration on motherboard installation.